Since Quebec passed its medical aid in dying law, hundreds of people have made the choice to end their lives through doctor-assisted death. Marisa Ninini was one of them, and her last days were captured on video by her sister. Denise Roberts reports. It's a family sing-along, a final request by Marissa Nini, barely able to sing, but with them in spirit. A moving moment her sister filmed with her phone and shared on Facebook. I wanted to remember her uh, with everybody loving her and her with her smiles before leaving. And it was like I, I needed to have, have these souvenirs. Personal moments that struck a chord online and have now been viewed over a million times. Once a picture of health, 55-year-old Marissa Nini was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer last year. Her treatment options were limited. Three rounds of chemo didn't work, nor did alternative medicine. When she saw the chemo was too hard on her, she, she had no life quality. So she told herself, I'd rather have less time but a better, <clears throat> better life quality. When the pain became too much, the mother of four opted for assisted dying, a decision her family supported. As the planned date drew near, she invited all of them to join her at her bedside for one final reunion. A heavy time broken by song. Nini says the videos provide a human face to an often controversial issue, which is why she shared them online. Since posting them last week, she says she's been flooded with comments from around the world, mostly good. I've had a couple of people on Facebook saying, not a lot though, but saying, oh, that's, it's, it's, it should not be, it's, uh, it should be private, uh, but that's an opinion. She says dealing with terminal illness is an issue for a lot of families, and sharing these intimate moments can start a conversation, regardless of where people stand on assisted dying. For now, Nini is dealing with the grief of losing a sister she looked up to all her life, holding on to her last moments and words. She said, I love you so much. And she said, uh, you taught me a lot. I don't know what I taught her, but, <laughs> but she said I taught her a lot. So she taught me a lot. And that's it. Denise Roberts, CTV News.